Hey YouTube, I'm back with my Latrex Teton. I got a few cool looking little upgrades for it. I slotted the body up here with my Dremel tool and I got a little spoiler put in. And uh, after I'm done painting my body, I'll go ahead and shoe goo this in. It, it drops in and it actually sits in there at a little bit of an angle. And yeah, I'll go ahead and shoe goo that in once I once I paint the body and I got myself a sweet little blower here. And I'll put that right there. So yeah, I'm gonna Go ahead and paint it. I'm going to paint it this dark purple, the base of the body. I got a little bit of brush on paint to paint the blower and the hood and the, the spoiler. And I got a little tip on how to cut your tape out for your windows. If you guys wonder how people do that, I like to use a little piece, piece of parchment paper. And buy a big roll of parchment paper for just a few bucks, so not very expensive at all. And then you take your pen. I've just been taking, kind of wrapping it around, leaving it there loosely with my fingers. Some people will Maybe uh, tape it on there in a couple spots just to make sure it doesn't move. Then I'll just go ahead and trace the outline of your window. Trace it a couple times just to make sure you got a good true outline of your window. And there you go. What I do is I go ahead and take it off there. I lay it flat down on the on the table like that. And then I take my masking taper, tape. I'll go right over it and I'll just go ahead and pick it up. Oh, I did that wrong. I'm sorry. Okay. I traced it out like this. I take the side that gets traced and I put it down on the table. That, that way the window gets transposed right. You don't end up with like a backwards mirror piece of masking tape you're trying to use backwards. I'll stick it on there. The tape doesn't really stick very well to the to the parchment paper. Then I'll just go ahead and I'll cut the the window out of the parchment paper. There we go. Now you you peel your masking and your parch, parchment paper apart, and you got your window sticker to go on the inside to mask your window. And I'm gonna go ahead and after I uh, after I paint the bottle body the flat purple for the base, I'm gonna come back by and I'm gonna use uh, this green with my airbrush. And I'm going to paint the windows that green too. So this this little Latrax Teton is going to be looking pretty good by the time I'm done. Every good one's going to want to stay tuned. Thank you very much.
Well, hey there. I hope that was as much fun for you as it was for me. This body's looking pretty, pretty nice. I bet you guys can't, can't wait to see the, the revealing how good it actually looks once I take the coating off of it. Oh man, that's looking good on the truck. Let's go ahead and put this spoiler on there. Oh boy. Okay, I'm going to use some shoe goo. Shoe goo is some of the best stuff for your RC car bodies. If it breaks, shoe goo it, and it won't break there again. You can really go to town with some smart with some shoe goo and, and yeah you won't have any problems with any more breaking not where the shoe goo is anyways what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a couple dabs and that'll be more than enough to hold the supercharger on there actually just a little tiny bit more on there I'm going to let it sit to the side here while I uh, I glue the inside of the wing on. Sorry, I got kids playing in the background, but, you know, as a fact of life. Your parent. You parent your kids. You don't pay other people to parent them for you. It just doesn't seem right to me. So... What I'm going to do to hold this spoiler on, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put a dab of shoe goo on the inside here. And that spoiler won't be going anywhere. Okay, now let's go ahead, put on this supercharger. I like to use a zip tie to, for, uh, for like my two part epoxies and whatnot and you know smearing some glue around like this just because uh, zip ties you know they're very inexpensive and you just throw it away afterwards you don't, don't got to worry about it. And see what I did here to center up my hood scoop was I just took and I scratched off my outer coating of plastic, and that'll be good enough for this rig to center up my hood, my uh, my supercharger. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh, that's looking pretty mean. My Joker, Joker theme color, Teton. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start peeling plastic here. I'll get it closer to the camera. So everyone can see exactly how nice it is. Let me 
know what you guys think in the comments. Take this time to subscribe, hit that like button, hit smash that bell button if you guys want to see more of this. There's definitely going to be more of this coming. I'm going to be printing drift wheels. I am printing drift wheels right now for my slash. I'm probably going to be hooking it up for the TRX4. And yeah, just all around. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Get out, get off your couch and get out there and do some RCing of your own. Bye for now.